Okay, I don't have the letters that I would like to have. So I am going to use my brother's scan and cut. And you get this book with all of the different images. If anybody would ever like me to go through this, I would be happy to. There's probably videos out there with the pattern list. But just so you can see the pattern list. But you're not limited to this pattern list because that brother, it does scan and cut. So it means it will scan an image. It can directly cut it. Or it can, um, you can scan it, save it to memory, and cut it later. Um, so, so some people do use it for, like, stamps, to, like, fussy cut their stamps. And um, I haven't really tried that. I have done other things, but that particular thing I have not done. So... Like in some of my mini albums, when I make tabs, I actually use um, this image right here. And that makes... Okay, sorry about that. I ran out of space. Um, but this is the image that I usually use when I make tabs. Um, and as you can see, there's a bunch of images in here. Um, and just to kind of give you an idea, you have all these images. And some of these are multi-cut images, right? Like, so this ice cream cone, you could print that out on three different. It cuts each piece separately. Um, and there's just, like, all types of images, y'all. This is a really cool device. And the reason why I like this device so much more than... is because I didn't need a computer to, to operate it. And, um, you know, I worked on a computer all day long. The last thing I want to do when I'm crafting is to do computer stuff. Though I love computer stuff, but it is the last thing that I want to do. And so you have all these phrases. You have like corners. Phrases. It prints all that different stuff. And then there is the alphabet. Um, so basically you have, it looks like you have five fonts to choose from. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my letters here that I have written down. And I'm going to cut them to the right size. So I do want to be able to see them. So let me see here. Let's use a purple one since we'll be able to see a purple one. There they are. So this is how much all right so that's about how much you're gonna see of the tab all right so I'm gonna measure that and it is about about a half an inch so I'm gonna cut my letters in a half of an inch width and uh, I'm not really picky on which font I choose, um, but I'm probably going to do like the calligraphy style font right there. Okay, so I'm going to cut my letters and I shall return. And if you guys want to see more of the brother stuff, I can, you know, do different videos. Just let me know below. I don't know really what, you know, some people might want to see that, so... If you have questions about it and you're interested in, you know, thinking about purchasing one, not that I have anything to do with selling them or anything like that, it just happens to be that I chose that one because for me it was more convenient. I could scan, I could draw images, I draw images, and, um, and, uh, let me see if I can, well, I don't have my, my, uh, art journal but I draw them and I wanted and I also fussy cut them out after I draw them so why I got it mainly was because I wanted to be able to scan that image and then cut it and then also have that image for later on after I draw it but anyway so there's lots of things you can do and you can weld and you can take you can take it apart and you can do all kinds of really cool stuff with it though it gets a little more complicated when you start doing that but anyway I'll cut my letters and I'll be right back all right I just cut my letters and I cut them at a half an inch. The first letters I cut, I cut it an inch. And that was not good. So that was not the right size. I kind of lost my mind for a moment. Um, so let me see what we have here. I don't know if I pulled that up too roughly. Um, wow. 
They are very small. Um, let's see if this is going to work. So when you pull them up off of here, you want to be a little careful because this pad is kind of sticky. And I actually had a little spatula that came with it, but sometimes what I do is I just take it and kind of bend it up like this. And I'm just going to gently take these off and um, place them on this paper that I have under my... <sighs> so tiny. Um, like this eye is just itty bitty. It's a little teeny teeny eye. <laughs> and it has a little dot. So we gotta get that too. Which, another use for the tweezer. Um, maybe. Or not. It's just, it's so small, y'all. I don't know. A half inch may be too small. We shall see. Honestly, I can use a gemstone for that eye. If, if um... Hmm. Oh, my fingers are sticking to them. And the M looks good. What am I missing? I'm missing something. There is a letter missing somewhere. Uh, A to D. E. Where's E? Okay, that's E to H. H is still on there. Oh my goodness. H is still on there because H is teeny. I don't even know if I'll be able to get that off. Holy cannoli. I'm not sure. I may have to recut that. <laughs> Maybe normally you wouldn't cut these down to a half an inch, you know what I mean? That's gonna work or not. It's just so tiny. Oh wow. I don't even think it I can't tell what it did here. There we go. Is so funny. H. <laughs> I don't even know if I'll be able to show these to y'all yet. They're so small. N. N is big. Because you know what I did was um, this alphabet. It, um, what is that letter? That's an R? Yep, that's what that is. That's an R. Um, you know, the letters are in different sizes, so I just changed them all to half an inch, which is probably not the best thing in the world because some letters need to be a little bigger. It's TV, W, and, oh my goodness, y'all. This Z is so minuscule. Oh, it's cute. It's minuscule though. All right, let me look. Let me see what we got here. I think the D needs to be bigger. Maybe. Or the A needs to be smaller. E, H, I'm not happy with my H, I'm not happy with the D, with the H, the I, and the Z. Alright, I'm going to cut those letters, D, H, I, and Z. I'll be right back. 
All right, I had to go a little bigger on the H and the Z because those would not cut friendly. So they were not friendly, um, but they were so small and those letters are not really made to be cut that small. Um, there's probably some letters in there that would work perfectly well small, but the font that I chose, it was just too scripty, you know, um, so I wasn't happy. But we worked around it. Hey, what's up with that? Okay, yeah, we got some extra cards here. That, I'm like, those are shorter. It doesn't work. Okay. All right, so I guess what I will do here is um, trying to figure out which glue I'm going to use to glue these down. Um, I think we'll do the quick dry adhesive. And I'm just basically going to, I can't ink these, these are just too teeny, too tiny, y'all. So I'm going to, um, let's see, I'm going to put a little dot of glue there. And so I'm going to use this. Because um, it's so small, y'all. And hopefully that glue doesn't dry before it um, gets on there. And then we're going to go with the E, D, A to D. Okay. And I probably should have been more selective where I put this. Um, so I think I am going to try to at this point, be a little more selective. <laughs> I tell you, it's interesting to say the least. Okay, I don't know, we'll see. This one wasn't well thought out. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it like this, put this here. E H I don't know if y'all can hear the show in the background. It's a um, Housewives of Melbourne. And apparently this woman is um, divorced. And she is completely thrilled that she is melting her wedding ring down into a piece of jewelry of her choice. Boy, that H is just huge, but we're going to run with it. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. I'm not sure. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Let me look. <laughs> e to H. Hmm. I'm just going to go with it. <laughs> I don't know what else to do other than run out and buy some letters. Okay. This dot ought to be real interesting. Yes, I've never watched this show before, so if y'all hear something weird in the background, that would be what it is. 
I do not know what this show is about. I mean, other than Housewives of Melbourne. That's all I got. Which is not Melbourne, Florida. <laughs> it's Melbourne, Australia. Alright, it looks interesting. I don't know that I hate it, but it is definitely interesting to say the least. <laughs> but we're going to run with it. It looks a little um, artsy, I guess. So. I, I kind of like how there are different colors. Um, so that kind of adds to the cuteness factor. Let me get some more glue here. Man, this glue does dry fast, y'all. Alright. So, let me look at that so I can kind of try to place these. I sort of like how I got that. Okay. Eh, get over there in. Alright, so that's an N. And this is an R. Okay. Eh. Seriously? Come on, get over here. Oh, Y'all can't see. That's just terrible. Um, Alright. It's R. I got an S here. Kind of. Eh. Okay. V. Getting there. Getting close. W. Yep, I think she just cursed. They just bleeped it. Alright. W and Z. We are getting there. And my glue is all dry. I don't know if that glue, I don't think there's any glue left there. Okay. And that is Z. W and Z. I wonder if that was supposed to be the other way. Okay. Alright. See? Okay. There we go. And I'm going to use some of these, I think. So I'm just um, using that gemstone as a kind of like a dash, just so it 
makes some logical sense, maybe. I think that needs to go. That works. Okay. There is a method to my madness, y'all. It's just sometimes I don't know what it is until it's done. Eh, get in there. Okay, apparently that one is not wanting to work. So I'm going to have to stop in just a little bit. We are going to dinner with my husband's aunt and her son, um, Roma, my mother-in-law, which y'all know probably. She just um, She's living with us now in the apartment downstairs. And um, her sister lives here also, which is really cool. Because she hasn't seen her sister in so many years, and so now she gets to see her sister and, you know, hang out with her. Um, so that's pretty neat. Um, but this will be the first time that I've met his cousin, I guess that's what you would call him. And uh, it'll be the second time, or Greg met his cousin when he was younger, but he hasn't seen him in very many years, so... Um, and we're meeting him, his cousin and his cousin's wife. Um, so that'll be be fun. We're going to a little local restaurant here, which is like a little beachside place. All right, y'all, that's what I got. <laughs> I know that little detail is hanging off there, and I really don't care. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to clip it. I'll clip it, um, but uh, yep, that's what we have. I think that'll do the trick. It looks kind of artsy. I mean, you know, the, the the folders are different colors and the letters are different colors and sizes. So. <laughs> but you know what? That D. If I wouldn't have done that D that small, um, look at how tiny that D would have been. It just would not have looked right at all. So I had to do it differently. And the Z, you couldn't even. It's just so tiny, you can't even really distinguish what letter it is. So, it would have maybe worked, but it would have probably made me miserable. So, that is what we have, and we do need to let that dry. And then we're going to bind our book, y'all. We're almost done with this part. How exciting. I can't wait to see the book bound. Alright, I will be back. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to measure this out real quick. Make sure we have the right size, the right amount of rings that we need. I'm just going to clip it right here in the middle. If I can. Alright. This is the one. Oh. Make sure I cut that right. Okay, all right, so that is right. We'll put this away in the drawer. And the other one that I was going to use, I will put that away in the drawer as well and use that with another project. Okay. All right, let me see what we got here. Now there is a special way to put the cover on. <clears throat> I have to remember how to do this. So, I think you put it on like this, because I think you want that in the inside, and then I think you put this in right after it. Yep. Now I wonder, maybe we want this to the back. 
So I think what I'll do is, let me see, does it matter? Oh, there's something on my, I got something on there, y'all. It can't be trusted. Ugh. Let me move these out of the way for the moment. Let's hope whatever that is will come off. Oh, I don't know what that is. And that's in my inside cover. Wouldn't you know? Okay, that's okay. May get a butterfly there. It's probably glue or paint or something. I thought it was in a safe place, but apparently not. Okay. All right, so I think we want this to the back. So I think what we would do is we would put that in there. All right. Right. And then we could put, <laughs> sorry y'all, I'm having a moment. So that's not the right way. It's going to be this way. Pretty sure. There we go. I believe that's right. Okay, so I'm just going to open this up. Yep, okay. All right, so this is the first page. And this is A to D. the next page. Okay. Next page. And we're going to double check it before we do any kind of binding, permanent binding. a big book. Alright, so Alright, I'm just going to look at it. That's what it's going to look like. We got this, got the paper, got the alphabet. This, the paper, the alphabet, this, the paper, Alphabet, paper, alphabet, purple, beige. So we got purple, beige, purple, beige, purple, beige. All right, that is it. All right, y'all, here goes. If it doesn't fit, we can take it apart. That's, that's the good news. All right, so we get our little bind it all device and we widen this up. And I think we put it at, let's see what we got here. I'm not sure what these measurements mean. I'm kind of learning how to do this. Um, okay, here we go. There's a one inch right here. If you keep going, 
All right, there's the one inch mark right there. And if you see, there's measurements inside there. So this is a one inch binder ring. And what we do is we put it in there like this. Okay. And we pinch. I know you're supposed to go all the way down, but okay. All right. I think it needs to go in just a little bit more. Because uh, I have a little gap there, and I don't think that that gap is supposed to be there. So I'm just going to squeeze it up just a little bit more. And, and this, what this does is it pinches the rings. And that's a little better. See? Let me look here. Yeah, we want them in more because if they're not in more, uh, the pages will slip out. So let me just move this up just a tiny bit. I'll try that again. Sorry, I'm doing a different direction so y'all can kind of see maybe. All right. That's good. I think that's good. Uh, could be that they need to be tighter. That's what I've got so far. And I think... It might just need to be just a tinge tighter. See y'all, there's... There could be a science to this, and I just don't know what that is yet. So, that's how you learn, right? You just try it. Yep, that's a little better. I'm not pushing all the way either, y'all. I'm just uh, gently working it in. Okay, I think that's it. All right, we'll move this out of the way. And then we will open the book, close the book, rather. Um, these little ends here, what people do is, um, I think they just bend them down. So they don't get caught on anything. Just like that. Ooh, I think I need my glasses on for that. can't get a good grip on it. Alright, there we go. Alright, so I just bent those in like that so they won't catch on anything. And then we will open the book or close the book if it will close. little chunky. Um, yep, well that's it. Let me just play with it a minute and see if I'm happy with it. It could be that I don't have that little bar in the right place, but I think it's in the back, so I think that is where it should go. There's the book, and it is chunky, y'all. But it will certainly be big enough for any addresses and all your addresses. So I will fix that little spot there, don't worry. Um, as a matter of fact, I 
you're just... Hey, there you go. <laughs> Butterflies. They make everything better. I'm telling you. And if I'm not mistaken, I should have quite a few more of those. So let me get this unclogged, because I know it's clogged. And look in my little... I think I put them in here. I thought I did. But it's possible that I did not. Okay, not seeing them in there. Alright, what to I do with you? Here's one. What paper is this? I'm really not sure what paper that is. I can't remember what I cut those. That was a card, wasn't it? I think. Where is my... <sighs> One of these days they will invent a glue bottle that does not get clogged up. I'm sure of it, y'all. And I'm thinking that they're going to have to. I'll probably cut some more and put some more on there, so. But anyway, so that, <laughs> I'll put some more on there. But anyway, so we have that one. And there's the paper. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't glue these yet. Well, I'll glue these offline. But I'm just going to, um, I may make hinges for these. That's probably what I'm going to do, is do a hinge to adhere those. Um, and then you have the first letters in the alphabet. The second one. And I won't do that online because that'll take so long, y'all. Um, you'll be bored to tears, I'm sure. Okay, so that is the book. Last page. I'm just going to let that dry before I close it up, and um, I will be back with the finished video. I think we're pretty much good. I'm oh, and I do have this. Um, I'm going to add this to the the box as well, um, somewhere. Um, so that'll be on the finished video also. And I'm going to fix these little hinges. All right, I will talk to you later. Thanks for hanging in there with me, y'all. It was a fun project, and I really enjoyed it a lot. And thank you so much, Judy Garner, for the box. Um, it was very inspirational, and I had a lot of fun with it. And um, I'm just tickled pink the way that this turned out. Y'all have a great day, and I'll be back with the finished product. Bye. Or project, rather.